Hey YouTube, Puffin Snuff here, Ian, checking in as always from beautiful Northeast Ohio, here with a nasal snuff review. Uh, no, it is not a review of the open source project batch number three, which is a damn fine snuff. I promise that is coming soon, hopefully much sooner rather than later. Uh, but for now, kind of switching gears away from the artisan lines and talking about kind of one of the old, good old standby uh, brands, Sam Gawith. Uh, talking specifically about Fire Dance. Um, a little background on Fire Dance here before we dive into it. I was um, intrigued to try Fire Dance the Snuff because I tried Fire Dance the Pipe Tobacco. Um, the Pipe Tobacco to me was a complete letdown, uh, which is understandable. Uh, in While I do like a good scented snuff, including fruit snuffs and, and dessert snuffs, in Pipeland, I do not really smoke aromatics except for once in a blue moon. So no real surprise that it wasn't my cup of tea. Um, but I thought that it was generally a poor tobacco, a poor pipe tobacco blend to begin with. Um, anyone who smoked the Sam Gawith Flakes, uh, Full Virginia Flake, for example, um, know that they come very, very wet in those tins. And you add to that the aromatic casing of the fire dance, and it is a soupy, goopy disaster in the pipe. Uh, and whereas with those unscented flakes, you can kind of air them out, let them air dry for a few hours or even overnight, um, and load them up in a pipe, and you get that, that, that original natural flavor. You do that with an aromatic, and it loses, um, loses some of the punch from the casing, and it comes out rather bland. So very much a letdown. However, the tin note and the room note of that pipe tobacco were out of this world. And so I thought, okay, it's not very great to smoke, but it smells fantastic. It may be a real good snuff, so let's give it a shot. Um, and that's why I uh, first picked up Fire Dance. So um, I guess now to switch gears here and talk about the snuff, the tin here is your standard Gawith 25 gram tin, to the extent that these tins are still available. Um, I suspect, I suspect uh, for a number of reasons, this one might not suffer too, too much from a tap box. Um, but certainly, as with, with any snuff, if you get the chance to uh, get a hold of something in a tin, it is better than those little plastic tappers. Um, it is not a screw top, uh, like Toke, which is unfortunate, but... Um, it is a much sturdier, much heavier metal than what Toke uses, so it's not nearly as pr prone to the dents and the dings and all that. Uh, so inside, uh, the description for uh, the snuff and the pipe tobacco, by the way, is that it is a, uh, a blackberry brandy vanilla snuff, uh, which sounds really, really intriguing. And I'll tell you what, this is sitting um, in front of me here on the desk, and, I mean, it's probably... Um, you know, two-thirds of an arm's length away, sitting there with the open tin, I can smell it from here. So it is um, a very strongly scented snuff. Um, in the tin, if you can be able to see that in the light, uh, it is a medium to medium dark brown. It is a medium to maybe just on the coarse side of medium grind. Little bit of an irregular grind in there. There are some uh, some larger chunks and flecks hanging out in there. Uh, the moisture is substantial. Uh, if you do get this here, you can get it in your fingers here and roll it, and it will almost form a prilla uh, as if it's a uh, a snooze. So very very moist. This is this is pretty typical of some of the Gawith snuffs. Um, it reminds me. Uh, the grind and the moisture, a lot of like the black coffee, which made, you know, the, the, it's not super fine and it's really moist. So it is really, really easy to take. Um, and that high moisture content, by the way, is why I think this might do okay uh, short term in a tap box. I wouldn't buy them um, and store them for a long period of time in that tap box. They're, they're, you know, going to degrade. Um, but for short period of time, it'll, it won't last as long as your small slur, but um, I think it'd be better than uh, some less moist options. Uh, anyway, tin aroma. You got a couple things going on. First of all, you are punched in the face with that dark fruit, boozy, 
uh, brand descent. Um, it, it is there and it is prominent. You do get a little bit of the vanilla. And if you really go hunting, and I mean you really have to go hunting, you can find a little bit of the dark base tobacco. Um, this is certainly not a, a, um, a scent that is added to highlight the tobacco base at all. This is definitely a, uh, we're going to use tobacco as the medium through which we're going to carry a whole boatload of flavors. So uh, the one thing that is kind of concerning to me is I've had bad experience with a lot of the Sam Gawith fruit snuffs. Um, banana, I think plum might have been the worst offender. They all have, to me, something very synthetic and funky and... Um, uh, I, I guess synthetic is the best way to put it. Something faintly plasticky, and um, it's really kind of off-putting. Um, it, it smells more like a, a chemical kind of uh, additive than it does, you know, a, a, a high-quality uh, snuff. And I can pick some of that up here. I get that same kind of sensation, that same kind of background aroma to this uh, in the tin, which. Um, is concerning and and to that end with the blackberry with the brandy the dark fruit brandy there's a lot in this tin to me reminiscent of the plum so uh, which may mean nothing to you at all maybe you like the plum maybe you've never had it but to me um you know subjectively in my nose this is starting to fire off some warning bells but we will give this a pinch this is not my first pinch of this. I've been through a number of tins of this snuff. Super, super, super easy to take. Um, there is a little bit of a, I took, I got to tell you what, my eyes are watering. I took, that was a massive pinch. Um, it didn't fly too far. It's sitting right where I want it to sit here, but there's, it's just, it was a lot. So there's quite a good bit of burn to it right now, uh, but it's a pleasant burn. Uh, nicotine on this is not super, super high at all, but it's definitely present. You will know that it is there. Um, and you do get a little bit of that syntheticiness, but not much. And here's the thing. This thing is so heavily scented that the strength of the scent of that brandy really as much as it is overshadowing any tobacco aroma it's also kind of overshadowing that synthetic aroma so it's almost um the fact that it, it, it could easily be considered over scented is a good thing because it's covering up what i consider to be the biggest flaw um once that initial rush kind of subsides and the, the, the brandy, the alcohol, uh, the brandy kind of dissipates and that cloying synthetic -y thing is no longer there, it's a real nice snuff, at least for me. Um, heavy, heavy on the brandy and the blackberry. The vanilla is definitely playing second fiddle. Now, the scent permanence on this lasts a long, long time. And the longer it sits in there, the more you can start to pick out the, uh, the vanilla. There really aren't a lot of bells and whistles to this. It is what it is what it is. And that's a blackberry, uh, dark fruit brandy aroma with, a, with hints of vanilla that kind of come out towards the end. There aren't a lot of extra layers. There aren't a lot of surprises. Um, Everything about this snuff, taken individually, would lead me to believe that I would absolutely hate this snuff. It is uh, somewhat synthetic at first. The scent is overpowering. There is very little natural tobacco aroma to speak of whatsoever. Um... There is no nuance. There are no layers to it. Unlike the toke fruits, where the fruit has a very natural fruit aroma, this certainly has a fruit flavor aroma. All of these things are things that 
I do not like in a nasal snuff. Yet somehow, somehow in this tin, they take all those flaws, put them together, and the end result is something I absolutely love. I am stocked up on this when uh, when all of the um, all the EU regulations and all the changes in packaging and sizes were announced. Um, there were three or four European snuffs that I loaded up on. This was one of them. I do not, for the life of me, guys, I do not understand why I love this snuff. There is nothing uh, that I can process logically or academically that tells me why I'm so drawn to this, but I really am. For me, this is like a 9 out of a 10 all day long. Uh, on paper, it should be like a 3, but I'm telling you, I can't get enough of it, and I don't understand why. Uh, so that is all for me. A surprising little nasal snuff, a lousy pipe tobacco, but a surprising little nasal snuff, Sam Gawith Fire Dance. Uh, if you can get a hold of some, especially if you can get a hold of some fresh from a tin, it is worth trying. Uh, I think that is it until next time. And next time will be, come hell or high water, uh, a review of the open source project, batch number three. Uh, take it easy, everybody, and we'll see you later.